so today we are doing articles articles in german okay so guys who those who are having articles please mute yourself okay listen to me carefully so today we are doing articles in german and there are uh, there are two cases which we are doing in this event so the first case is nominative case the second case is accusative case nominative case and accusative case as told me right so in our nominative case this nominative case is a referring subject one second can you hear me accusative case is referring to uh, direct object so these two cases we are covering in our one and then we have four genders for example masculine feminine neutral plural masculine feminine neutral plural can you all repeat after me masculine feminine neutral plural masculine feminine neutral plural yes and then uh, how to learn this we can take it uh, the short form m f n p m f n p is the proper order so what happens uh, articles in german are very easy to identify because they all are in capital letter so basically this comes before a noun and what are these for masculine we have their article for feminine we have the article neutral we have das and plural we have the so how do we learn m f n p these are our four cases and uh, these are our four articles how do we learn them there the das the there the das the so for example if i ask you what are the articles in nominative case so you all will be saying there the das the das the and what are the articles in accusative case if you see these are same feminine feminine is same neutral is same plural is same so only only the change is in masculine which is they so there the das the is becoming den di das di yeah den di das di okay and if you see if you see here it is very easy to learn because there is a change in masculine there is a change in accus accusative both both accus like masculine is different in nominative also and in accusative also and uh, here feminine and plural is same also feminine and plural is same and neutral neutral both are same yes so this is how you need to learn So if you see, as I was saying, as I was saying, <coughs> noun uh, a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. We all know this. Same in English. All nouns in German must start with a capital letter. So in English, all nouns are not starting here. Noun or also starting in capital letter, whether it's in between also, and they all all have a gender. Four genders are there. I already told you. Genders are masculine, feminine, neutral, and plural. Now, what are these genders doing? Gender is an important as it decides lot of things around the noun, like article, like adjective, what kind of describing what it is. 
nouns are also either in a singular form in a plural form and they also have some clues to help you to figure out the gender yes for example now you are aware of this, these words here for example what comes in masculine what all things come in masculine family all male persons all male professions our all days montag dinstag mitwork freitag donnerstag samstag they all are masculine so for example the word father the article is their father say their father because their father their father because their uh, father yes absolutely because father is a masculine brother yes, brother becomes brother so article is their, their brother their their brother. brother so boy boy is called he is a boy younger younger their younger younger not their younger they are good you are understanding then we have days months and seasons their montag is monday the month june is called their uni their uni winter is a season which is their winter so if you see these are also falling under masculine category their montag their uni their winter then that day i told you there are some endings also which helps us to identify what is there what is the what is thus so what are those ending ling ending and ing ending ending means the word that are ending with l i n g and i g there are many I'll let you know uh, anybody is saying something is anybody saying something okay so the word is honey is their honig so if you see h o n i g is ending with i g so this word is also having their ending yes so the word king this word is also kyonig kyonig this is also ending with i g the word butterfly their schmetterling their schmetterling this is ending with l i n g so if you see butterfly it seems to be feminine but in german the butterfly is masculine masculine family yeah then what happens in feminine all female that spelling of butterfly s c h m i t t m e t t e r l i n g spell how do you pronounce ma'am schmetterling 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 thank you ma'am so uh, then we are coming to feminine names mother the mother the mother sister becoming the schwester sister is schwester so i can't say they are schwester it's the schwester grandma grandmother becomes oma yes oma and grandfather becomes opa so grandfather opa is their opa or the opa you tell me everyone opa grandfather is their or the there ma'am there so nouns that are ending with e now here feminine what are feminine endings that are e d kadza d lamp cat is kadza lamp is lamp so if you see cat is feminine and lamp the word lamp is also feminine okay now there are some more endings for feminine earlier the endings in uh, endings in uh, masculine were l i n g in i g yes ma'am and here if you see the endings is e and s e z h a f t shaft shaft friendship countryside and neighborhood friendship 
is the frown shaft frown shaft countryside the land shaft and neighborhood the nakbar shaft 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 the frown shaft the land shaft the nakbar shaft alas la are you pacing with me all are you reading writing listening at your end just listening ma'am okay you will be getting you will be getting this this pdf i'll be sending you then you have neutral this gender is neutral neutral is there or d or das you tell me what is neutral ma'am friendship friendship jo shaft aa raha hai this is feminine feminine it's feminine this case okay. was feminine okay ma'am hmm then we are starting with neutral names that is das so all humans all animal babies are das baby is baby das baby same in english same in german das baby kitten the cat shen the cat shen shen see it and so das chick is who can das who can so here we have c h and n so earlier we were ending with the shaft s c h a f t so that is the ending and here we have shen ending can you notice shen ending yes ma'am so that is das das conjunction so rabbit the animal rabbit is called conjunction if i say rabbit you say das conjunction now if you see now we have total exception everyone so i told you all the ladies are frau and yes ladies are d yes but here small girls school going girls are not d it's a total exception everyone please if you are writing make a star over here it comes in exam that is das mädchen so if can you imagine? das mädchen das mädchen is a girl it's a feminine but we are in neutral gender who says it's oh, it's feminine it's a neutral gender yes ma'am girls are uh, feminine but in french they are neutral gender here you need to write it's an exception it's a exception yes ma'am okay so mention is an exception which we are considering so that is das mention then we have verbs is just now what are the verbs which are given just now das please, please mute yourself if you are having noise otherwise you will be thinking problem while listening to the recording Verbs that are used as nouns: das Leben, life is Leben. Life is very colorful. Life is Leben, das Leben. Food is das Essen. Shopping is das Einkaufen. So here there is a new verb. Wherever you are maintaining your verb, please note down these verbs. Now here there is a new verb, like trinken, drinken, arbeiten, chatten. Yogen, music, yoren, do do shopping is ein kaufen. Yeah. Ein kaufen. K u f e n. Ein kaufen. Just a recap. I am doing for only now. I am doing the recap for German pronunciations. So the people who are not having any background noise can repeat after me. Their father. their father their father their brother their their brother their younger their younger their montag their montag their uni their uni their winter 